So, if I hear any more whining about this guy, <laughs> I'm gonna make him worse than this guy. Or as bad as this guy. That's the easiest boss in Bloodborne. Is it? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. It's hilarious indeed. Why don't they just give him a Phoenix down and kill him instantly? What, sorry? Give him oh, a Phoenix, Phoenix down. down. Kill him instantly. <laughs> or an elixir. <laughs> So they leap off the edge, landing down in the dirt ever so expertly. Huzzah. It takes the sweep through thoracics, then follows through, striking down upon your machine. Six plus four plus five is going to bring us to 15 points of damage that it sweeps across the side of the machine with. <laughs> machine. Any uh, damage resistance for being a... Inanimate object, so to speak? Uh, chunk of metal that's supposed to How about we give it 150 rock? hit points and call it a day? So at that point, if it takes that damage, the engineer's got to fix it for an hour. And they got to restore it down to under 100 points of damage. So 150 to break. Whoa. 150 to break. Okay. And 100, under 100 to be in working order after it breaks. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Who has mending? Te uh, all the engineers. Want? Perfect. There's that same annoying fly from last week. So every casting of Mending will be the equivalent of an hour of the engineer's work. That said, uh, it restores 10 hit points on the machine. Okay. Um, moving right along. So, uh, the, uh, the brain did the healing, the golem did the sweeping and the swatting, and from there it's back over to thoracics once again. Plus, oh, that. great hunter. No, I'll get it more like I'm not hitting my th shit with that. Oh, it's a fucking a smaller just, one, maybe. No, <laughs> oh. like more like a ninja one I'll rather than a massive of, ogre club striker. So, uh, thoracics. Anything? I'm doing anything at all? You know? <coughs> No, I'm, be, I'm going to be flanking him, going around this side. So once that light start activated again, I'm going into that tunnel. So does ten hit him? Uh, ten does not. Twelve hits the golem. Okay, so I do nine points of damage. This is on the golem. Yep. Another nine points. Brings him to fifty-one. Fantastic striking, cutting more swaths with your short sword. Cha 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 cha. One after the next, your strikes get suing his legs to shit. Camera sweeps away from you to show. Kale, I hear no. you're a hero. Prove uh, it. Apparently. Okay. So as I make my, I, I dash forward, flanking the golem, and I raise my pistol, aiming at the thing's center, center of gravity and whatnot, and I fire away. All right. You got barks, bullet flies. Roll it. Twenty. Uh, it's 19 on the brain, 12 on the golem itself. Okay. It's the body I'm aiming for. Okay. Since I'm aiming from the back, I, don't, I, don't, I assume I don't see the brain from the back. No. Okay. But, actually, no, you can. I'll just give it, like, half cover. Okay. So, plus five. So, yeah, basically, sending the thing yeah. is pretty much the brain. Yeah, I'll aim for the brain. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm using four. So All right. That sounds like it's going to hit the golem. Is it only six? Yeah. Maybe. Go on wrong 12 there. there. Forward, you get to 12. Um, I don't know how you're doing. Oh, no, I have a long sword and a short sword. Short sword. Dexterity, uh, or you can choose. Dexterity and efficiency. Is that what it was? I know that we see six plus four. That's ten. ten. The, uh, nope, not going to be enough. By two, do you miss as your bullet plunks squat so into the uh, veiny monstrosity that holds the brain cask in its uh, in its robust muscles and sinewy clutches. Yummy. Yeah, it's really disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like old noodles. Yummy. Ivor, Kevin, <laughs> do you have a bonus action or anything? Uh, 
No, I use my bonus action to flank. Well, no, you move into position to flank. Yeah, that's what I mean. Speaking Sorry. of which, where were you wanting to be? Yeah, right over there. Somewhere around there? Yeah. Okay. So, moving into position as such. Uh, hang on, if you were flanking, did you take it? Oh, no, you don't. Never mind, you were shooting. Yeah, uh, so running and gunning. That's totally fine. Uh, you... Did you take any feats? At level 3, do you have a feat? Nope. Um, no, never mind. You don't have any feats. Yeah. So... Shoot a dude. But that's character level, isn't it? No. No, it's class level? It's class level. Uh, no, that's right. Yeah, are you talking I'm about an like aspiring gun mage. I'm a new. Never mind. Um, yeah. Moving along then. So that is you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that works. No damage. Okay. Are the corpses on this golem holding themselves together, or are they physically merged? They're merged. Effect? They're all melted. I wanted to be a smartass with a disarming strike. <laughs> <laughs> they are still, like, melted to the other corpses, so there is, like, an arm here and a leg there. Okay, Adley's going to take the shots. No other crit. Uh, 23 on the first shot, 10 on the second shot. So 33 for Ann Lee. Uh, this is her with the longbow and, and you with uh, uh, firing a that shot. Was, that was just her. That was just her? Yeah. 33? She crit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is on, sorry, Gollum? Gollum. Okay, so that brings us to 84. And that's over to Ivor then? <laughs> Ivor. How much AC does this thing have? Also, you're still moving. Or, uh, well, these guys, the guy no, they're going on my next on, or yeah. 19 on the, the brain? 19 on the brain? Uh, it's 19 to hit the brain, yes. Uh, 12 damage from my pistol onto the golem, since I can't physically see the brain. And then I will light step to move a few more feet down there. That's my turn. Did you actually hit the brain? No, you missed it. I hit the golem. Oh, you hit the golem. The Okay, and jumping down the light step, uh, you land on the dusty, ruinous uh, area there. Uh, I just want to note, you do see that there is some loose cover. There's lots of walls and whatnot, large sections of floor and wall, and and stuff that could be turned into cover. I'm just going to state that. Uh, that said... Did you get the 11? Did I get the 11? Sorry, it is... No, uh, pistol. Oh, uh, very good. 90. Uh, from Ivor over to Bane, if you could, regale us with a tale of heroism. Miss. Just, that Scorching <laughs> Ray? Fireball. Oh, Fireball. Miss. She should always just, no wait, Scorching Ray's not a cantrip though. And that's unfortunate. Be nice though. Three shots every turn. Um, yes. So Fireball goes astray as it flies and hits the cavern wall somewhere nearby. Uh, the camera swivels away from your disheveled face. The shot face uh, shows the dudes as they start to rev up the engine. And the one guy with a 16 plus bonus man just run, da, 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 gets the side of it going and the rest of them move on! Oh, I'll, I'll come uh, over here. And move into the, okay. In towards the pedestal. Uh, so one success out of the four guys pushing uh, on the sides. And the guys at the back, one of them pushes well. Um, they haul as hard as they can and barely manage to move against uh, against the muck and whatnot, I guess. Can it be at advantage since the drills are powered and going and it's chewing up all the corpses and stuff in the way, making it easier? Here we go. I'm just trying to save my guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. So a 19. Um, it moves forward. The drills moving, uh, chewing, sorry. The drills chewing through the corpses and whatnot, as you describe, it moves forward towards the massive corpse beast that struts about. Um, the torso seems to glance towards you as the drills come forward. Uh, they don't, well, actually, shoot, Joe, where's my fucking measuring stick? How far can they go through this guy? Right, there it is. 20 feet, sound good for this guy. 
So they just for us to take out a leg and to save the guy. So. Yeah, but they're gonna move their twenty feet and they're gonna get right to it. Okay. Is what it is. So this is where they are this turn. So the machine is gonna come towards him. He's gonna make a dexterity check to get out of its way. Uh, as the dudes push against the machine, shoving it into him, the beast rolls a shit, gets chewed up in the rotors, and uh, starts getting yanked in. It screams out uh, violently, angrily, as bits of it are chewed into the rotors, one after the next, body parts flying, slashed, cut to ribbons, flying from the massive beast. Uh, the guys holler out, Hah! And then the, uh, the massive beast takes two swings, one with the nat 20 to swat the side of the machine, and one with an 11 to come from the other side. Uh, the guys on either side of the machine, one of them makes it, one of them doesn't. I was going to say, they're all gnomes. <laughs> and then the other, uh, one makes it and one doesn't, sorry? There's humans in there. Indeed there is. The humans are at the back, the gnomes are on the side. The point is that it's a crushing downward blow, it's a terrible thing, and it's just, you know, it's the same save no matter the height. It's an unfortunate uh, day for these guys. Uh, one makes it, one doesn't on either side of the machine. The machine itself also taking some major league damage. Jolson, who has already taken however much, uh, the machine and whatnot take uh, 13, plus 5 is 18, plus 5 is 23, plus 5 is 28 points of damage. It strikes down upon the workers, the engineers on either side of the machine. Uh, Why are the fuck do they even have the machine at them? Because they point a pistol at their heads and say, do it. Why? They're smashing up the machine. That makes the trip easier next time. There's a lot of reasons. I mean, you would have been critical. You have given people. some wise ideas before, but not this one. Yeah, <clears throat> right. I agree. So in any event, oh, and the machine takes another 34 points of damage. Uh, it's hard to reform a corpse going from paste. But that was on the good 49 roll. damage. Um, they shriek out in pain. <laughs> as bits of corpse are stuck to their bodies. One guy's got a couple eyeballs and a finger, or eight. Just sitting there like a half beard hanging off his face. Uh, Gamma stumbles away from the massive corpse man and uh, shows uh, shows somewhere in the pale darkness a sudden firebolt emanate and fly forward out of the absolute nowhere. A Deus Ex Machina strikes and radiant energy coalesces into a spell from history until now. He cometh, and a small spirit form rushes out of the darkness, almost silhouetted against the light, almost non-existent, but assuredly there as it casts forth a firebolt that sails and strikes true for, sorry, it's a D10 on a firebolt? Yeah. D10 plus bonus? Unless they're in level 5, it's 2 D10. 10? Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's good. 10, 16 points of damage that is struck upon the god. Uh, 16 is going to bring two, one, 11. Very nice. Well, 111, pull out four. Uh, at 111, the thing staggering around as it's chewed into the. Oh, should I didn't even do damage for that, did I? Are we getting chewed in? I don't think so. No. No. Oh, no, no, not on the beast. I totally forgot. There we go. 8d6. Boom. 29 damage. Uh, brings them to 130, 140, 150. 150, am I retarded? No, 140. No, 150. 11? No, 40. 40. 40. Oh my god, retarded. Holy crap. Okay, sorry. So, up to 140 damage already. Awesome. Okay. As he str uh, struts around trying to regain his balance, you can see that he's actually on, uh, this golem's on its last uh, leg. Ha 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 ha! No, okay. <laughs> well, wah, wah, wah. from there, Ke uh, Kevin Sobel's up towards um, the brain himself. He, desperate, uh, desperate to regenerate, sees the futility of the situation, and suddenly flounders about inside of his frame. And 
sweeps away fast as he can uh, be carried by his ethereal form, heading towards the pedestal. Well, I'm going to knock 